just when you thought the world couldn't get any weirder. And you thought you knew all about all the modalities and submodalities, now including the vestibular system. I'd like to introduce a new one. I'm really not sure if this qualifies as a modality or a sensory system. It is clearly something that the brain is sensitized to and picks up. Voila! I'm sure the United States Department of the United States of America's Department of Defense is not pleased that I'm sharing this thing with you. Um, but what the hell? <laughs> this is actually an electromagnetic. It's actually a magnetic. I wouldn't call it an electromagnetic. It is a magnetic, a pulsed magnetic field generator that can generate low frequency, what's called uh, extremely low frequency ELF transmissions of magnetic fields, which have, believe it or not, fairly profound effects on your state of consciousness and can induce dramatic alterations in state, and dramatic alterations in um, mental, mental condition. Um, I have heard that these have been used by certain cults to induce what appear to be states of uh, sort of paranormal awakening or high suggestibility or something like that. I'm not sure. but. What this does do, this has a, a very precise oscillator in it, and it controls um, a magnetic coil, which would attach here. And the coil's not on it right now. I don't know where it is, actually. And send out anywhere from, I think, 1 hertz to 40 hertz, so a very tightly controlled, phase-locked, loop-controlled magnetic pulse that will actually go quite far. And it will go straight through walls. It will go through apartment walls and things like that. Once we had some problematic neighbors that were playing drums at inappropriate times. It was actually completely inappropriate to be playing drums at any times. <laughs> it was absolutely infuriating. And nothing we could do could dissuade these people from their musical exercise. So we brought into play the magnetic pulse generator and set it on a frequency which is that of, believe it or not, the vestibular system has certain of its own intrinsic frequencies and if you which happen to be about three hertz or three cycles per second so if we set out a magnetic pulse at about three cycles per second we were able to soundly disorient these people and they could not play their musical instruments mind you this went straight through an entire floor from the floor we were on to a floor below and we were able to basically disable them and we continuously did this until they gave up on their adventures in drumming so what does that tell us? That tells us that the brain is clearly sensitive to other forms of energy transmission or other forms of um, other other forms of um, field uh, field extensions can reach into and directly and dramatically affect human consciousness. My my little quip about the DoD was. I heard that this stuff was being tested in uh, Gulf, the first Gulf War, Desert Storm 1, I think. And at that point, they sort of preferred that no one talked about it. Whatever. Um, so anyway, yes, uh, yes, we have them. Uh, they do exist, and they're pretty effective. If I were to bring one of these to an NLP training and put it up there on the platform and turn it on any, any number of frequencies, I could directly lock your mind, just as if you were using a, a light and sound machine or a mind machine or something like that. I could induce your mind into a specific frequency band or a specific frequency zone, which you would very, very clearly feel and you would, you would respond to and probably enter into that state. Naturally, I would not contemplate doing such a thing, uh, although I have been uh, have had it mentioned to me that other other organizations not having anything to do with NLP and much much dodgier, skeevier types of um, culty hardcore cults actually have used these to produce certain states of consciousness that the members that were surrounding the guru or whoever it was assumed to be these these uh, powerful transformative some kind of um, change in their state. No, it was actually just a pulsed magnetic field. So. This was actually built by a guy named Clark Kent, with two Ks, Clark Kent, who uh, his purpose, his express purpose for designing this thing was to 
induce states which would allow one to communicate with UFOs and distinguish between gray aliens and white aliens. I find that to be a, a fairly remarkable belief, but I am impressed that Clark would go to the trouble of designing, building, and marketing such a device, which I now have, in my little museum of highly improbable technologies that actually work. So, you know, when you think you've heard it all, there's always going to be one more thing that just completely alters your entire map of what's real. <laughs>